thing a week is dead. And this is a metaphor Old cemeteries in Maine always smell like blueberries, and I don't know why. Uh, so, <laughs> what am I even doing with my life? Fun fact about cemeteries is um, the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery is a graveyard is attached to a church because uh, people people used to be uh, buried in the uh, the graveyard for the church parish that they uh, go to. But uh, in the 1800s, when you know the population became too large to continue doing that, uh, they the churches had to start making uh, detached cemeteries. So the graveyard is the yard where the people were buried, and the cemetery is not attached. So fun fact: uh, I love coming to uh, old cemeteries. It's just one of those things. I, I don't know. I was a goth kid. Regardless, Thing a Day is dead. I always knew that it was going to be a, uh, an experiment that failed. I just didn't expect it to fail quite so quickly. It's not like some big dramatic end thing. It's just the, uh, what's been happening is the, the, the Thing a Day videos have been kind of interfering with the longer form content videos, the ones the ones that, uh, you know, I put all the work into, I think those are just kind of getting, you know, the higher value videos. And I think those are just kind of getting lost in the static. So hopefully by, uh, by stopping thing a day, that's less likely to happen. No guarantees on that, obviously. But uh, so the, the, lost track of where I was going with that. Oh, so what I'm going to try to do instead, since there is like an audience for Thing A Day, for uh, uh, the, the vlog, the way I've been doing it, um, what I'm going to do instead is the vlog is not going to go away. People seem to like the vlog. So what I'm going to do instead is do a weekly vlog so that y'all still get to kind of have this experience and I still get to kind of have this experience because I do really enjoy it. Uh, it's also kind of forced me to remain productive, which is was kind of uh, part of the intention. Uh, and it's it's forced me to be more creative and do more things than just kind of falling into the same, I don't know, like routine or whatever. Check out my shirt. I love this shirt. Anyway. Um, yeah, so thing a day is going away. I love coming to old cemeteries. I don't know if I said this part. I love coming to old cemeteries because where I grew up was a very, very old part of the state. And there are these little, like tiny, tiny, um, like town cemeteries just kind of scattered about in what is now and was then like the middle of nowhere. Uh, this, I'm on a hill in the middle of the city. The, uh, the cemetery is huge. Um, but I'm in the oldest part of it. Most of the graves here date back to like the early 1800s, um, some around the turn of the century, but most of them are like Civil War era. Most of the old cemeteries before people started getting buried in like larger, more centralized cemeteries uh, date back to around, around then. You don't really see stuff at much after turn of the century. Um, when I was a very young, my dad actually worked for the, the town not the town we lived in, strangely. It was the next town over. But he worked for the town uh, maintaining all the little cemeteries because they're still like town property. So some sort of groundskeeper needs to be had. And that was his job. Every couple of weeks, he'd go around and mow all the grass. But I feel like I'm just kind of rambling now. I don't want thing a day to end. Um, but you will still see a vlog from me. Um, but it's going to be next week. Uh, so what you can look forward to, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, so you'll see my normal uh, weekly long-form video, uh, scripted long-form video tomorrow. And 
you won't see a vlog again until next week. So I'm going to do the vlog videos every Tuesday because uh, an AI auditor told me that my videos do perform best on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So what, what are you doing? Are you eating grass? My dog is a dipshit. Stop eating grass. Do you, Persephone, do you want to sit in my lap instead? Come here. Come here. Don't throw up on me. Don't throw up on me. So, uh, would you like to would you like to say one final word, Persephone, before we sign off? Insightful. Uh, what would you say the impact uh, or the 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 thing that is largest affecting the, the tiny canine community in Maine. Fascinating, fascinating. Uh, as a human, I never would have thought of those things. Uh, is there a message that you would like to send out to other uh, small canines such as yourself? Very, very good. All right, well, thanks for sitting down for this interview with me, Persephone. It was... Uh, insightful as always and thank you to you for coming along for this weird little uh, daily experiment um, those of you who were here every single day i see you and i appreciate you and uh i'll see everybody that i'll see everybody and everyone will see per and everyone will see percy uh next next week bye all right are you done you've been done being a weird little squirmist Oof. All right, come on, back our shit up.